Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to tell you something. Every web developer, whenever they create websites, what they do, they create websites on their local host and after creating the websites, they upload it on the live server and we will do the same. No one uploads the website first on the live server and then they create it and they upload the theme and then they do all this stuff and settings. What they do, they always create the website on localhost. They apply their theme, they apply their settings, they set up all the website and then they upload on the live server. That's what we will do, alright. We will install the WordPress on the localhost, we will apply our theme, we will apply settings, we will do everything and then we will upload it on the live server okay to set up the WordPress on localhost we need to do one thing and that is we need to download the server that will support WordPress on our local or on our machine okay and the name of the software is exam okay you can use exam or vamp whatever you want now to download exam all you need to do is go to Google or you can directly search here I'm gonna go to Google type exam click on the first link here you can see exam for Windows exam for Linux and exam for OS X you can do according to your requirements okay if you are on Mac you can use this if you are on Linux you can use this and if you are on Windows like I am you can use this okay and everything will be the same either you are on Linux or you are on Mac or you are on Windows alright you don't need to be worried now uh, I have already installed it on my local machine all you need to do is just download it and install it wherever you want so after installing it what you need to do is open the folder where you installed it I installed it in my D drive documents and in this folder here it is exam I, I installed it here okay go to exam now find the folder htdocs here it is htdocs open it now remove everything that you will see in this folder okay I removed everything okay and I created a lot of websites and I put all of those websites in my in, in a folder my websites okay when you will remove all of everything from this htdocs folder it will be empty now all you need to do is create a new folder and type the name of the website that you want to create or the blog that we want to create so I'm gonna go for just WordPress Oops. you can type the name of blog that you want to create okay but I'm gonna go for WordPress okay so we will save our WordPress website in this WordPress folder now what we need to do we need to download WordPress okay I'm gonna go for WordPress like I explained in the previous video wordpress.org is for WordPress we download WordPress from wordpress.org click on download WordPress now click on download WordPress 4.3.1 gonna download it in the downloads folder save so it's gonna take a while to download and it will come in the downloads folder documents download alright it is downloaded now all you need to do is cut this from here go to your htdocs documents exam uh, htdocs wordpress the folder we created and paste it here now extract it extract here I'm gonna delete it open it now uh, as we have already created this WordPress folder we don't need another folder inside it so I'm gonna just cut all of these files and I'm gonna paste it here I remove this folder okay so here it is our website which is WordPress I'm gonna open it and here's all of our files now what we need to do is open the exam we will open exam and then we will be able to set up our WordPress so I'm gonna click on exam control like you can see these two services are 
are already started but it will not be the case if you are just installed the exam so these are will be stopped automatically so all you need to do is just click on apache start and mysql start these two services are just started now what you need to do is just open your browser go to localhost localhost click on wordpress amazing now we're gonna set up what it says it says welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on the database you will need to know the following items before proceeding so wordpress wants us to create a database to create the database on localhost all you need to do is just go to localhost forward slash php my admin okay here we need to create a database go to databases I know uh, a lot of you guys will be confused what I'm doing but I promise you that just stick with me and you will be a great blogger after this whole course just do what I'm doing alright I will explain all this step by step alright so those of you guys who have already experience with this local host it will be easy for you guys but those of you who are new don't worry just do as I'm doing if you face any problem just add a discussion and I will answer to you as soon as possible okay now it's time to create the database I'm gonna name the database as WordPress you can create and here it is it is created and this is WordPress okay first step is done now click on let's go okay now it is asking about the database name that we created the name of the database is WordPress so it's okay WordPress now it is asking about the username of our local host this local host I have a username but I don't have a password the username is basically for almost all the local hosts is root okay and I don't have a password to my local host and I hope you will also don't have a password if you if you have done the same thing like I did okay but if you have a password you can write the password here okay database host yeah keep it at it, uh, as it is table prefix WP underscore keep it as it is so I'm gonna click submit okay done it's time to install it everything is okay now it's gonna install the WordPress click on run the install great WordPress installed now it's time to provide some additional information about our website site title for example uh, I'm gonna create the website about health some the name of my website will be uh, let's say health or whatever according to your niche whatever you want to create just put it right here now the username username is very important when you want to log into WordPress you will need to provide your username in this case I'm gonna write my name and password this is uh, this is a weird password I'm gonna uh, write a simple one I'm gonna say you should keep the strong password okay the strongest password as strong as password as possible but uh, I'm gonna keep it simple uh, for, th for the sake of tutorial I'm gonna say hello world hello world is my password uh, confirm use of weak password yes it's time to provide the email address so I'm gonna enter my own which is Usman Udemy at gmail.com okay install WordPress it's installing the WordPress it will take a while okay done WordPress is installed it's time to log in we can close this tab we don't need it now okay now the username remember the username that we entered and what was the password passwords hello world I uh, the H was capital okay, login 
come on okay we are logged in so this is it this is the back end of our website to open the front end click on health right click open a new tab this is this will open our wordpress so this is the front end this is where our blog will be this look totally weird because this theme is basically the default theme of wordpress we don't want this we will apply our blog theme okay and we will do everything that a blog must have like share buttons and uh, amazingly designed sidebars and posts and everything okay so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have followed this and you will set up the wordpress like i did on the local host and we will do everything on the local host and then at the end we will upload our uh, wordpress blog to the live server and i will show you how you can upload okay so just stick with me like i'm doing and if you fi face any problem just add a discussion so thank you guys for watching this video in the next video we will apply our theme and do all the cool stuff to our blog so see you in the next video